Hey, we are live. Hey guys. Welcome, welcome. Is that our drippy LVO objectives? Very nice. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll roll a six objective map. Hmm. Kind of suck for you, but it's great for me. It's true. Bathe all these points in blood. <laughs> okay. All right, officer. Well, would you like to start off by rolling for the mission? I here? will. Gonna be playing Arcs of Omen. It's gonna be exciting. One three. Hmm. Let's see. Get out of incursion, Bailey. Yeah, incursion is on. Uh, Dad's cry salvage. Boom. So uh, it is a six. It is a six. Yeah. Today we're going to be uh, showcasing the new World Eaters. Corwin's been waiting for this army for a very long time. Very so long time. He's got, I'm going to, when we go over our list, I'll give you a close-up of everything. I do apologize. Most of our stuff is not painted for this game, but that's just because most of it has just been built. I've recently got into Custodes, and then, um, uh, and Corwin has also recently just gotten into World Eaters. I just, I just built them. Yeah, um, so... We're just excited to showcase the armies, see the rules, kind of get a feel. We're trying to get as many games as possible. We're going to a tournament next Saturday, so it should be fun. Should Hopefully be fun. get to see some stuff. Yeah, I have not taken this list for my facilities before. I was running Emperor's Chosen, um, but I actually think I'm going to be switching over to Emissaries. Um, right. Starting off, going, going to this tournament, this game will kind of be the decider of what list I take to the tournament I go to, so it should be pretty fun. So... Um, Corin, what's your first take? Corin's actually played some games of World Eaters. So. I've played I've played a few games so what far. Um, I've had a lot of fun with them. They seem pretty strong from what I've seen. Um, although I haven't won any of those games. They have been against uh, Yunari, which is a fight first army. So that has been a little rough. Um, but even then, they still perform fine. Their secondaries are kind of uh, bonkers. Uh, one of their secondaries, Pile of Skulls, is pretty much an auto-15. Um... Even with bringing anger on back, I can bring anger on back like twice and still have blood points to get the 15 DP. Um, the killing one is pretty good too, which is where you kill something in melee with a world leader's unit. Um, doesn't matter what turn it is, goes off. Uh, you get two DP for a character or vehicle. Seems to work out pretty well. Um, the one I don't know about is the uh, one where if a world leader unit dies, uh, not a world leader unit, but if anyone dies on an objective, you get one VP. Um, I found with like a trading map with like a five point spread that you usually only get like six or eight points from it. Um, but with a like six objective map, I'll probably be taking it this time just because we have a lot more coverage here. And you can only score one point per, per objective marker per battle round. Uh, oh no, per, um, per player's turn. Um, so you can output points pretty fast, but uh, if things aren't dying on points, then things aren't dying on points. And he does not have a lot of units, so this is going to be a little rough, um, I think, for that secondary. Might just take banners. No, I'm thinking about it. Probably a good idea. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're kind of going to roll over the list. Um, we'll start off with uh, Mr. Corwin here. I'll let you go ahead and run us down on what's going on in regards to okay. your army that you got So here. I'll start off with my Warlord. we got Angron because he has to be your Warlord. Um, his Warlord trait is uh, no OPSEC within six inches, and... Um, some of his base rules. He's, he gets the chapter master rule, so he can choose a unit, um, although it has to be core or character, to reroll hit rolls. Um, he also can choose one of three effects at the beginning of the command phase. One of them is plus one attack to all world units within six inches. Um, one is no fall back, which is I found to be pretty strong. Um, and the other, I believe, is minus one to bravery, but I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about that. Uh, I will double check real quick. I've never used it, as he tends to die very quickly to things like the Incarn, but... <laughs> kind of see we got a whole bunch of... His third effect is rerolls. It's an aura of reroll hit rolls of one. Um, he has a four pin bowl. he gets 12 attacks at max bracket, and as you all know, I can bring him back for six blood points. Uh, next, I'm running a Demon Prince. He gives reroll hit rolls within a 6-inch aura. Um, I've given him the Relic minus 1 to wound in all attacks. 
Um, that's it. He gets plus one strength, plus one attack on the charge. It's a world leader's effect. Um, next, I'm running Lord Invocatus. This is a kit bash Lord Invocatus. Um, it's a Terminator Lord from Forge World, and I just threw him on an old Juggernaut I found at LVO. Works out pretty well. Um, next, I got two units of Jackals. They're each uh, upgrade with a five point upgrade for the Skull Smasher on the Dishonored, but they do not have the icons or this fancy lad right here. Um, he'll just be a normal guy for this game. Um, got three units of the Berserkers. Um, each is upgraded with a glaive. Uh, this squad's glaive will be this guy because he has his cool little axe. But the other ones will be these like swole little berserkers I made. I used uh, eight pound arms, so they're actually like huge. <laughs> I have I bought almost max amount of eight pound, so I have so many so many kits. Um, I'm running six squads of eight pound. I'm running three squads of exalted eight pound, um, each with double chain fists on the sergeant. And then I'm running three squads of normal 8-pound, but they're all min. Um, and each of them has the Lacerators. Uh, and then two Chaos Spawn. And then that's my list. It generates about 19 blood points if any everything goes well for me, which is pretty good. I'm just a little worried that the blood point generation from his army is going to be relatively low. Because uh, this is only worth three blood points, all these bikes. The plane's only worth two. Um... Is that a bike, Captain? Yes. Yeah, he's worth two, and these are worth two, but I have to space them out, because with blood points, something that they don't tell you, or like something that I think some people will over, uh, overlook, is that um, it's end of battle run for the extra points. So when you kill something, or when something dies, you get one. Um, when a vehicle dies, you get one more at the end of the phase. Um, it's kind of weird, but it makes it you can't just get like 10 blood points if you kill three vehicles, or four vehicles. So it works out. Um, and then that's my list. Right on. I'll kind of run over my custodies here really quick. And Corin can stop me if I say anything outrageously egregious. Hopefully not. I don't think you, I, don't, I think you got it. We'll find out. So I, I, I play uh, custodies uh, pretty frequently, so. I'm going to be starting off, I'm playing the Emissaries and Paratus. So basically my army at the start of the fight phase, uh, if a unit has a trait that is within the agent rule of any enemy unit, it can fight first in that phase. So that's going to be... The reason why I'm taking this is because I think the World Eater meta is going to be really oppressive in the mid tables. I think we'll also see them at the top tables, but just getting through the mid tables, I think at a big tournament, you're probably going to play them twice uh, in the middle of your middle rounds. And that's going to be horrible. No offense to Corwin, but that's going to be rough. The blood, the eight bound are so powerful. So that's going to be, not that they're broken by any means. I think they're actually pretty balanced for what you're paying for, what you're seeing, what you're getting, but what they charge and hit dies no matter what you are. Unless you spike and do amazing. So, or they flop, which happened in Corwin's game last week, which it is very sad. It very was sad. But, but it's okay. It it's okay. It's okay. We're not going to talk about it. All right. Um, the other trait that I have is each time a model in that unit with this trait makes an attack, you can ignore any or all modifiers to the hit roll or the wound roll. So that's pretty nice. So um, I'm excited to use those, basically. Um, should be fun. Um, so I've got that, um, Into the Darkness is the CP trait, which allows me to pre-game pre move. Um, if, it, if a unit contains, uh, four or more models, it costs three CP, otherwise it costs two. So, to pre-game move, we'll see what I do. Um, it'll be interesting. I don't, this, my goal with this game is to be as kind of kitey as possible. That's why I took incredibly fast units, but we're going to see what happens. So let's kind of go over my list really fast. Obviously, that's a lot of fast. It's a lot of Forge World. Um, <laughs> drip, drip. I'm oh, just kidding. Uh, but <laughs> I have uh, only one HQ. It's my Shield Captain on Dawn Eagle Jet Bike. He's got the Castlands Mark for the redeployment. Um, he has Ceaseless Hunter, so he can declare a charge um, on a turn in which he fell back. Um, he also um, he has the Implaceable Vanguard rule. He gives out the reroll ones. I gave him Pureless Warrior, so um, basically an unmodified wound roll of six does a mortal wound in addition. And each time an attack is made by this warlord is a located to an enemy model, saving throw cannot be made, which is nice. I'm hoping to kill me some eight bound with this bad boy. We're gonna see how it goes. Though, they do fight on death, so we're gonna see about that too. Um, let's see, I gave him, um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I think he's got the wrong thing on him. What does he got? Isn't that Dreadhoods? That or one. More Impulse? Um, no. It's just, uh, it's just Peerless Warrior. It's, it oh. Make you just can't make saving throws against him. 
You can't reroll save rolls. Yeah. Sorry, not that. Uh, not that. Um, let's see. So, yeah. I forgot about that effect on Dragon's Warrior. It's pretty good uh, when it comes up. Yes. So there is that. What does Voice of the Emperor do? That's what I think I meant to put on him. To uh, it gives him extra uh, range on his four abilities. Hmm. It could be useful. We'll keep it on him for now. Uh, I always I always put Castellan's Mark on him. Oh, really? Yeah, because it gives him the redeploy. And if you have the pregame move, you can just redeploy. That makes sense. That's what I have on him. So, cool. All right. Then I got three of the Gravis Pal... Pa uh, the Grav Palace Attacks. These are these little speeder boats that the Custodes have. Okay. They're 95 points, so they're super point efficient. Um, they don't have a lot of shots. They have two, two twin... Or they have one twin Acris Blaze Cannon, which is... Uh, Bait Arachnus. Gosh, I'm going to mispronounce this really bad. Uh, but I, <laughs> these are can do two shots of seven, neg four, three. And I can reroll wound rolls against vehicles. Will help me very much in this game. Though I think you do have some rhinos, right? Or do you not take Nope. Them? No rhinos. Sad. All right. And then, or it can do six shots of five, AP two, one. Which yeah, is No eight. vehicles, not a single one. The big draw of these for me is their 16 inch range. Um, they're pretty small, so they're hideable. Um, and uh, they have the five of end bone, which is great. Um, and then basically, their uh, weapon range is pretty far too, so I like that. Um, got three of these guys. Then I got the Vertius Praetors. I've got a five-man squad, a four-man squad, and a four-man squad. So lots of Vertius Praetors. You bet your, your buck that they got all salvo missile launchers. So that is crazy. Yes, a lot of salvo. That's a lot of salvo missiles. We're gonna see what those can do. I'm hoping I can pop some eight bounds. Or Angron. Or Angron. Yes. So lots of shots coming in from there. Um, that's pretty much all of my attack force. I mean, it's going to be pretty rough if I lose a lot of these guys early on, so we're going to see how that goes. Then I've got the Ares gunship. Um, I'm pretty excited about the Ares gunship, um, especially now with an Arx Omen that it comes in on turn two. So that's pretty cool. Um, basically, the big thing, the big appeal of this for me is it does have two pretty big guns, can do a lot of damage with them. Um, but it also has the Infernus Firebomb, which as an old T-Sun player, right there, very it's exciting. Huge. Is that the bomb? Or is that its engine? I think the bombs are underneath it. Yeah. Can they model them too? Oh my god. Yeah. Look at so, this. It's a big, big model. Unfortunately, he is so heavy that he's not going to be able to sit on his flight stand. So for probably most of the game, he's going to be off the board until I can model metal pegs into him to hold him onto his flight stand. It's, it's unfortunate, bad. but it is such a glorious model. I'm it's a little a cool jealous. Model. I wish I had it's one a cool of these. Model. Um, but yeah, so it's supersonic, so it gets a minus one to hit. It can drop into hover if it wants to, which is bomb. Um, and then it's got the bomb, which is you drop down um, anything. You choose a point, you fly over um, uh, for each unit within six inches of the point you choose on a four up face up or D3 mortal wounds. So it has potential to spike and do a lot of mortal wounds. And I have no defense from mortal wounds unless he kills me, in which case I do get two blood points. And then I can get defense from mortal wounds. But uh, like I said before, I think blood points are going to be very scarce this game. Unless I get tabled, in which case I will have many. Yes, <laughs> that's true. If I shoot a bunch of your units, you'll have lots. So, which is kind of what you're hoping for, hopefully. Um, awesome. So that's pretty much everything. Um, nice. Okay, cool. So, yep, so that's what we're looking at. So we're going to go ahead and get the mission all set up. I'm going to stick you guys back up on the perch while we place terrain. We are doing player place. Um, which is kind of the standard around here in the state of Washington um, and at a lot of big like frontline gaming tournaments and stuff like that so we're just trying to get our reps in get some tournaments in we're also going to Rosehammer in Portland that's going to be a good time too so uh, I probably won't be there but uh, everyone else from the team will be there so uh, tickets were there you know, feel free to tickets were yeah quick they went out quickly and I, I've got something going on that weekend anyways I wish I could come but it, uh, is what it is. but it is what it is. Um, all right. Usually how I do this is I just do a diagonal line, but I gotta move like half my way. Yeah. We gotta pull the train down really fast. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see. This is the first time I've used eight bound uh, in a game. I've played three games so far. Um, have not, not 8 pounds, sorry, Jackals. I was going to say. I've used a that. ton of 8 pounds. I love them. They do great. Um, jackals are the ones I have not used yet. Um, they so do hit pretty hard. They do so. hit hard, and I'm kind of thinking this game, they're going to be a good screening tool. If you want to throw out dice, Coral, I'll hold it here. For so me. is it? 
74 or 73 for the total length of this table? Should be 74. Okay. Because it doesn't say how far in. Yep, it's 12 inches off the center of each, so it should be 36. 36? Is that the center? No. My math is not strong. No, no, no. Yeah. Half of the center of the board will be 37. Basically there. Yeah. Maybe it's 73. All right. So that's the center of the board. No objectives there, but the objectives go 12 inches yes, off. 12 inches off of that. that. So. You're so fatty. Wait, there we go. Nice. So 37, so 37 plus 12. 49 and 12 from that. Boop. Okay. And then Boop. we can just go lengthwise. It's 18 inches off towards the corner there from that center point of 37. If you want to, I can just draw from here. Oh, sure, that's a good idea. This mission is the joy of Warhammer. Yeah. Can it, yeah. There we go. It's just a fresh tape. It's not as loose as yours. So 37. So minus what? 18. Mm -hmm. Math is hard. Yeah. I'm gonna have to apology major anyway. <laughs> yeah, history major. All right, wonderful. <laughs> All right, objectives are up. So basically, we're gonna do player place. If anyone doesn't know how player place works, basically is there's a certain amount of train. It should be as even as possible. That's why we're using this stuff because it's probably some of the most even train we possess. But we have quite a bit. Um, if you're in the state of Washington, we do throw some pretty big tournaments. So feel free to come down and say hi. Exactly. Uh, so there we go. We love having people show up. Come down and hang. That angry Ron over there. So let's see here. Uh, nice. Okay, so to go ahead and get started, let's go and roll off for attacker defender. I'm going to grab a score sheet so we can keep track of the score. We're gonna get going, sorry. Usually we set up the train before mission, but I figured since it's the first Ark Soman game, it'd be kind of fun. And as, as we've been learning, train is so important in all the tournaments we've gone to. You makes a lot of difference, back. makes a lot of difference. Um, what pieces have no windows? Uh, Bailey, which pieces have no windows? Um, the pieces that have no windows are this one and this one. Okay. The two kind of crappy pieces. All right. So, Corwin, me. If you guys don't use the Goon Hammer score sheet, I mean, there's the app. Use the ITC Battles app. It's awesome. But score sheet makes it score super sheet's easy. nice, especially if you're using your phone for other things like I am. So, okay, awesome. So yeah, let's make that roll. Attacker defender. Hopefully, the Black Templar dice will feel nicer to me. I got three, three, four. So I will be defender. Wonderful. Um, and on the diagonal board. Uh, you just got it down the middle. Yeah. For player place. So we're like going like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Six. And I believe the windowless pieces have to be six inches away from each other, but mm -hmm. four inches away from everything else. Correct. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this guy. Pretty much gonna put it right here in the center. Is my hope as much as I. Oh, actually. This in the center. Just don't want to cross this line. Okay. Perfect. All right. Here to play, sir. I'm going to put this piece. What I'm thinking is right there. Okay. Put that piece right here. So that one's 
one's got to be six back. Yeah, from the uh, other six piece. Yeah. Right. They can be four from this one. I had six that they gave from the big guys. Uh, are we doing the LVO player packet? Well, I guess we don't have to then. Yeah, we'll just do four. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Let's do my little back captain out of the way. I'm gonna do this guy. I love this train, by the way. I don't get the chance to play on it enough. It's because Nick likes using the other one. They're both fine. It's just. Okay, cool. Pieces there. Okay. Awesome sauce. Great. All righty. So uh, we'll start off and start off deployments. Um, so my big guy has to be off the board, basically. So he will be. We're going to start off with the five mana bikes, which we're going to put. Let's see. And deployment is how far? It's twelve inches. Off um, that's a good question. Sure. That is a good question. What is? I grabbed the wool leader. <laughs> it's five yeah, inches away from me. Um, yes, deployment is 12 <laughs> inches off the center line. And I get first turn. Yes, 12 inches off the center line. So, or actually, there's a better way to measure that. It's uh, 15 up and 20 over, and 20 over and 15 up. Uh, what is that? It's 20 over, 15 up, 20 over, 15 up. So if you 20. put your dice there, it will help. Well, yeah. So 20 over. That's my edge of my deployment zone. 15 up. That's the edge of your deployment zone. Oh, and then we just drop then, one. Boom, that's yours. And if... Join all the dark heresy dice. Yeah. Just do the new Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Let's see. Okay, so I have first employment. I'm gonna go ahead and put down. Actually, uh, anything in strategic reserves or just just a plane. Okay, I'm putting anger on in strategic reserves. Sounds good. And then I'm gonna put down a grab palace right here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to respond to that by putting a spawn on my back point. Okay. I'm going to put a grab palace right here. Uh, grab palace right there. Um, a spawn. <laughs> Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed the Bull Golden Boys will win. Fingers crossed. Hey, I'm running for you. I love the Golden Boys. Although my boys are also golden a little bit. When they're painted, of course. We'll do this guy right here, I think. So you can go to there. Got minus two to your move. What's your threat range on a charge? 
Uh, on what? Just anything. Uh, for eight pound, if Lord of Bukas is nearby, it's twenty three inches. It like max or like max. Like that. Okay, cool. Go for it. Lord in those 24 would fly. Um, hopefully. No orcs here, no wog, but hopefully. Hopefully. One day. Got a feeling this might be Darren. I have a feeling <laughs> it might be Darren. Is it Darren? Darren, is it you? Are you logging in our chats? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you have crazed berserkers over here. I'm gonna do the four man of bikes. Right there. I guess it's not me. I mean, not Darren. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, not Darren. I apologize. <laughs> okay. And what has shooting in your list? Uh, the Demon Prince. Very nice. I do have some shooting with my What's his preserves. movement? Six inches? Uh, he moves 12. He has wings. Uh, he's been upgraded with wings. Very nice. Okay. going to do... Five pack right behind here. Okay. There's some exalted eight bound right here. Oh, wait, no, these are. I'm starting with three CP. I'm going to put it on this red dice right there just so everybody knows. These are some normal eight bound here. Okay. Anyway, all right. Gonna do four bikes right here. I know. They pop off. I don't understand real quick. how they're popping off. So much super glue. It's kind of suck when I paint them all nice and everything. <laughs> Five mana berserkers? I have to pin them. Five mana berserkers, and last but not least, my Capitan. The rest of your deployments are useful. Wow. Just to me. Anywhere you want, until I get to move at the end. <laughs> if you spend the CP. Well, I get to redeploy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to redeploy James. Yes, sir. Oh, this is from my, this is Michael from Poland. Oh, hi, hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. I met a guy from uh, Poland at, La at the Las Vegas Open in January. That was pretty dope. I also met a guy from Norway. That was pretty cool, too. Um, and it's always <laughs> awesome to meet another addict of the plastic. <laughs> I um I'm going to Paris and Barcelona in uh like ten days from now, so that should be pretty fun. Going with my wife, so no Warhammer sadly, but but I'll be with my wife, so happy days, big smiles. Um, but I would love to go to Poland. That'd be awesome. Now the blessed eight pound. Okay. Ah, so many deployments, Corman. I know, I have almost. I have a lot of deployments, sir. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it'll be really interesting. This game is going to really depend on how mobile I can be, if I can stay out of his charge range, and if I can do enough damage on turns one and two so that I can actually get up and score some points. You can see how it goes. So, for the strategic reserves, the Angron, on your turn two, he can come in from where? Anywhere on these board edges? Or is it within your... Uh, anywhere on the board edge. Uh, except for your edge, I think. Yes. And not your deployment zone. Yes. So, kind of safe with my line there. Um, okay. Jeez, Corwin. It's like you only been playing Custodius for the last year. <laughs> I know. Let's go. I'm sorry. I have a lot of deployment. So much. Do you have any pregame moves? No. no. I'm not running the Lord Invocator's build. Gotcha. Okay. Seems like a bad game to pre-move closer to you with, without knowing who's going to turn one. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Three of them. Uh, I got the demon prince. And moon CF. Uh, twelve. Very shootable. Lord Invocatus in the middle of the blob. Getting called chaos, so scum, but it's in a nice way, so I need to stop saying sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Alrighty, before we start the first battle round, I will, um... Well, actually, we should probably pick our secondaries first, shouldn't we? <laughs> uh, we probably should. Alrighty. Um... I am going, let's see, I don't need these dice anymore, you might, for a redeploy. Cities have a better grind if I remember right. Uh, they have a, a worse grind. It's worse? It's much worse. Really? Uh, you can't lose a unit on your turn. Like not, but you can't lose a unit in a battle round. I think it got changed. Did it? It might have. It was really bad before. Just gotta find the Kasodis wherever they are. There they are. Okay, so let's see. Minotaur, at the end of the battle round, score four VP. If one or more of your enemy units has destroyed this battle round. Oh no, it is worse. So I'm just gonna take grind. <laughs> Which might be a mistake, but we will see. So grind them down. Let me see, what should I take? Um, let's do. I'm going to take, oh, that one's risky. I'll take Auric Mortalis. Isn't as good as it was, but. On Angron? Um, <clears throat> now it does not work if I bring him back, no. by the way. I am going to do your Demon Prince. Uh, I believe. You have to choose Angron. Oh, Supreme Commander. What about. What are Makats? Uh, it has to be my highest point model or point okay. mark. Okay, I'll do Angra. You get to pick if it's like the same amount of points. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. Like yeah. if I had Mortarian and Angron, you could pick. But since I have Angron, you have to pick Angron. That makes sense. Uh, okay, let's do that. How many characters you got? Three? I got three. So I can give up ten. Mm. Oh, what about, uh, I bet you give a nice uh, No Prisoners. I do give Donald. a nice No Prisoners. Um, let me count real quick. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 104. I give 13 points for no prisoners. I think I'm going to do that instead of grind them down. No prisoners. Um, let's see, let's see. We got that. Let's do...
Hmm. Yeah, let's do no prisoners. Let's do um I am gonna do Might of Terra. Unless that's no, I can't do that one. I'll do Oryx, so yeah, I'll do new prisoners. I'll do um, Auric Mortalis with Angron, I suppose. Um, and then I will do Stand Vigil. I'm going to have to research some better secondaries, but we'll see. Okay, how about you, sir? Okay, uh, I will be taking uh, the Blood God's Do. That's the one where if I die on points or if you die on points, I give VP. Nice. Okay. Um, then Pile of Skulls. Okay. Pile of skulls. What does that one do? Um, that one, uh, if at the end of any phase, at the end of the battle round, uh, before purchasing any blessings of the dark, uh, the blood god, I almost said dark god, you can discard one, two, or three blood tithe points. If you do so, you score two VP for each blood tithe point discarded to a max of five. So if I discard three, I get six, but I can only get five. Mm. Okay, nice. And then um, your next number three? Uh, I will be taking banners, as long as it's not in the same one as Pile of Skulls. Let's see. It is not. It's in nice. Shadow Operations. Cool. Um, I don't want to take Blood for the Blood God, even though you only give up 13 if I min-max it. And that means you have to do exactly what I want you to do, and I don't think you're going to do that. Probably not. I have it. Okay. Cool. So, sounds like um, core and secondary choices are pretty strong and pretty guaranteed on a couple of them, which will be interesting. I just have to kill you and you have to kill me. Yeah. And then um, mine are going to require some shenanigans, so we're going to figure that out. Yeah, okay. stand vigil is a little weird because you have to control more uh, points than you. More than me. In no man's land. In no but man's land. There's four objectives. It's doable. And I get, I think, three VP for it. You get so three I'm hoping VP. for nine. Nine is my prediction on a stand vigil. But if that goes super well. So we're going to see that goes. I'd almost recommend assassinate instead. Because it can give you ten. Yeah. Although Angron can come back, so. And then I don't get it, right? You don't get it. I could, if I wasn't asshole and I had 60 VP at the end of the game, I could just put him right here. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, no, I that's don't okay. think I'll be doing that. Because Blood for the Blood God, I'm gonna, why would you I'm going to keep my stand vigil because I think... If things go the way I'm hoping they're going to go, it won't matter. So, okay. Okay. Uh, at the beginning of the game, I'll use my Castlands Mark for a little pre-game or a little uh, pre-game redeploy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy out right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this guy out over here. Okay. Um, now we'll go ahead and roll into turn one. I'm not going to spend CP to pregame move. I feel like that's a bad idea into this matchup. Okay. So we're going to do that all important roll, right. and then we're going to get to take roll. you guys off your perch, and you get to see a little more. Um, he asked if world eaters are a swarm army. Um, kind of. Uh. It's a little less swarm with Angron because you don't get 360 points to spend on more swarm, but it is very much maxing your blood tithe output. Thank you for the sub on YouTube. We appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Um, you're basically trying to collect as many blood points in your list as possible because in some matchups, you're not going to have a lot to kill on your opponent because he only gives up like five blood points. Yeah. Um, if excluding vehicles. But like for me... It's, I'm trying to max the amount of squads I can take while keeping them within Achille range. Um, spawn help with that. I've got two spawn. Some people are running three spawn automatically in every list. I happen to not own a third spawn, so we're going to just do two today. Uh, that's why I was able to test out these jackals. Yeah. He's not swarming with demons. His goal is if this goes well, he's probably going to swarm with the corn cultists you can take called jackals. Because they're basically just free blood points to get his stuff. Basically, gonna be pretty yeah. nice. Blood type is every time something dies, I get a point. Boop. All right, that's a one for me. Uh, that's a one for me. Oh, uh, let's hope we can get something better. It's a five. That's a five for me. Oh, oh my god! Third time, third time. That's a four. Four. What is happening, man? Fourth time. 
I got a one. Five. Okay, you go ah. first. Unfortunate. I didn't want to go first. All right. I like that you're going first. Uh, you would. <laughs> All right. How many CP you starting with, sir? I am starting with four. Four CP. Uh, it's physically impossible for me to start with uh, more uh, less than that. Perfect. All right. You get to come down off the perch. One of the fun things about our streaming is we're using a portable handle. Do you want so me to keep it? Put yeah, you'll just keep that off to the side. But So the goal is that you can kind of see what we're doing a little better than a lot of top-down streams. Hopefully you don't get any motion sickness. We're going to try to be as steady as possible. I'll try to be as steady as possible. Steady as possible, but okay, sweet. So we're going to go ahead and turn one, basically. Um, <clears throat> so to begin with, let me see what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and start off with some very careful movement here, I think, is the key. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, um, range on the bike guns again is 24, 24. inches on a salvo. Okay. Did you choose your katas? No, yes, I did. So I'll be starting in um, the salvis kata in stance one. So I had four inches to the range characteristics of all range weapons my models are equipped with. So I'm starting with a 28 inch missile which is good because it puts me less close to being hurt by you. So I'm gonna try to go right here. So I just need to be basically right there if I wanna do some missile spanking. I am, I do get Sir Look Out. Oh, you do, you have 12 wounds? I have eight wounds on the Demon Prince. Oh, he said 12 first time. Okay, oh, never mind. Uh, yes. 12 inch move, sorry. 12 inch move, okay, never mind. Then I don't care about the Sir Look Out so much. Um, and probably Lord Invo does too, huh? Yeah, he has eight wounds. Well, this is going to be fun shooting some cultists. That's so, what I'm trying to make you shoot. So then in that case, we're just going to go right here. Because we'll stay about... Stick back here. Kind of go around the side for those. Um, this guy is going to come up and tap this building while still... Hopefully touching that. He is gonna go ahead and scoot up as well. And then maybe he will. I'll decide that in a second. This guy. And don't forget about Berserker Blood Surge. Whenever you shoot me, my sacrifice as long as I don't die, I get to roll a D6 and move that many inches. And I can't end with an engagement range. Okay. Which is pretty good. So sorry, when I, when you if I shoot you and you die, something gets to move. Is that what you said? No, if you shoot me at all, I get to move, unless you kill the unit. For berserkers. Ber berserkers only. Mm. It's I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the world leaders book, and what I found is it's very gotcha. Some of these rules and some of these stratagems feel very gotcha, and I could definitely see that impacting mid tables. Oh my poor cast one. Yeah, he's probably going to get smacked, um, but we'll see. Okay, these bikers are going to have the five pack is going to come flying around here. <laughs> Let's see, just got to make sure I'm still within the 28, which I want to be. So we're all going to come. Five missiles. Hoping the berserkers die, but. They probably will. What's their morale? Oh, their, uh, their morale is nine. Their leadership nine. is nine. Uh, they upped it in the recent book. It used to be eight. Back when I played them in Crusade. Mm. Shout out to everyone who played World Leaders before uh, before this book came out. Legends, heroes. So I just got an inch up just a tad. Giving you a big old cluster right here. I know. Luckily, that's I mean, a lot of bikes. That's a lot of wounds. It's true. I think I'm safe from turn one charging, but we're gonna. See. Uh. Because it. Twenty. Did my max range out. is twenty four with these guys? Yeah, so I'm safe. Okay. Well, I mean, unless you roll box guards, which you could. Unless I you have a way. Do you or you kill enough guards? of me that, for me to get plus one charge, mm. which is three blood points. So if you true. kill three ants this turn, it doesn't matter how they die; they could run around. All right. So that's all my movement. Um. We're gonna go ahead and go into the shooting phase. 
let's see, shooting phase. Um, I'm gonna start off with shooting the spawn from right here, from this guy. Okay, you'll I'm take gonna... the minus one, correct? Yes, because I'm not touching it. Oh wait, no, you're emissaries. Oh true, I don't you take You don't take that. That is very nice. My poor spawn. <laughs> we'll do the big shots I'm from the, that's the other one. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I've got twin Arachnus Blaze Cannon shots. I'm gonna do the three damage ones. So it's gonna be heavy two shots sitting on twos. Oh, double start. sixes. We're strength seven, you're T5. I am T5. T5, so I need threes. There's a two. Um, I'm gonna use the CPI gain this turn to reroll that two. And do a four, so I'll be two wounds on How the spawn. AP? It is AP four. Oh, uh, he dies. Yeah, six damage, bam. Uh, I'm up to one blood point. Very nice. This guy is gonna go ahead and shoot. Is this a ten brick of berserkers? That's or five? a five. He's gonna shoot the five. Uh, this guy's gonna shoot the five. This guy couldn't see. This, well, maybe I'll shoot the eight bound. I think I'm gonna shoot the eight bound instead. From this. Okay. Guy. Yeah. It seems like you can see. Those um, are exalted, so they do have a four pinball. Nice. So I'm up to five CP by the way. We'll try that. It's gonna be one hit. Two I am T five. T five. Oh, so it's not a wound. It's a whiff. Okay, then we're gonna dump five salvo shots into those guys. Okay, I'm hoping you roll some ones here. It's possible, because my captain's over there. There's one. There's a one, I can live. So, one miss, and I'm and moving then on. And so two. twos. There's another one, There's so one. three. Uh, they just go through, no AOC anymore. Yep, because I think they're what, AP, they're AP three? So I think you get six ups, don't you? Uh, are they AP three or AP four? Missiles AP should be AP four, AP four, yeah. But I do get so. to move D six inches. Which gets me three inch movement. Very nice. If you want to hold that real quick. Thank you. Three inch movement. He's kind of scooting forward there. Awesome. Nice. Gets himself out of the shooting. <laughs> Not that there's any left to shoot them, but. And oh, I guess there was the. Uh, don't think I can see anything else with him. So then we're going to do the four bikes into those. Oh, these guys into right my cultists. Into the cultists. So four bikes. They all hit. Ooh. Too cold to die. Too cold to die. <laughs> bloody, bloody deaths. Very nice. Then I'm gonna do over here. the five pack of bikes into the other cultists. Okay. Oh no, sorry, the four pack of bikes. The four into pack the into these or these? Uh these ones. Okay. So I'll hit. Two's the wound. Four kill wounds. Four cultists. Four more go. Okay. Making sure I didn't mess up here. Didn't place my uh, sergeant on the line, which I did not. I did the Perfect. correct thing. So that will be, sits me pretty happy, I think. So that should be that. Lord of Makatis has got how much of a move? 12, 12 inches, inches of movement. Yeah, he's got a lot too. Nice. So, all right, awesome. So that should be wrapping up um, the end of my turn one. Um, so I killed one unit so far for grind. I'll keep track with this little black dice here. Um, and then Orc Motalis won't happen yet, and Stand Vigil won't happen, I think, until the end of the battle round. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely not getting it this first round. All right, perfect. Well, we'll go ahead and roll into Corwin's top of round one. Uh, okay, that was- I, do, I might need to roll some morale. Oh, true, quick. yes. There's a little bit for of morale, focus. I bet you. I feel like cultists don't have a great morale. Um, I'm shooting for six on your leader. Or I have a leadership of seven. Oh wow! So we lost two, two here. So don't roll six. So don't roll a six. I did. We're good. We're got good. a one. Got a one. Uh, we lost four here, so we need a three. Uh, we we run. Unfortunate. Okay. How many are left? We got five left here. Oh, we got three, three that go. Yeah. Jeez. Ooh. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. It just leaves the dishonored. And the champion. So, they're gonna need to squeeze them together a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I guess I can't have done that. Huh. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, so. just the disorder. He's the heavy hitter anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's the one who does damage. Alright, perfect. Um, so, the end of my round one, uh, the Berserkers don't, do they have to take one? Uh, they lost three? can't run. They have okay. leadership of nine. True. They yeah, lost three. Very good. Yep, so, basically, the end of turn one, that was about as. I mean, I would have liked to have killed an eight bound, but at the same time, tis what it is, mm -hmm. and I'll get a chance this next turn. You'll get a chance this next <laughs> turn. So I am up to six CP. Oh, what's the mission? Uh, uh, I do not know. 
Oh, we should check that. Yeah, because I might have scored that. I might, might have. I should have thought of that. Um. Oh, this is the one where you do the data intercept on your back point, and you get oh, blips for each outwards. one you hold. Yep. Um. Luckily, my little speeder can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's any unit. So. It's any unit. So, but it's got a whole bunch of interesting things now. So, um. Oh yeah, no, it's just for three part. Okay, cool. No, okay, no, let's pretend. Um, uh, command phase abilities, I have none. So we're gonna go straight to movement. Uh, unless Lord of God selects someone, which he, I believe it's just an aura. It's an aura. Alrighty, uh, getting into some movement here. We're gonna advance with these cultists. Oh. Six inches, which means they're going. Probably 11. Oh, no, I bet you have a six-inch move. They got seven. They have a six-inch move, so they are going... Twelve. Twelve. Very nice. Straight into this corner. But we're going to try and stay an inch away from that side. The pro move stops me from getting the charge with my bikes. Have to go around, which is a bit ouchy, but... And cultists are obsec. Which is a pretty big score, because how many points are a 10-man unit? Seventy. 70 points. Or they should be off sec. I mean, they are troop units. I can double check, though. I just don't know if CS... I, I'm not sure. I know for T-Suns, they're not. I'm pretty sure. Might be the... I think Zangors are a cheap troop option, but it's about the same points as those. So I'd be surprised if they weren't. So what I've done here is I've actually strung my cultists so that I can cover both points. Because I got a 12... Very nice. Yep, so you can do that. It makes me have to charge all the way around if I want to. Keeps them very well hidden. Um, yeah, it's pretty solid on that front. Um, we're going to... Let's see, 14, right? Yep. 14. Uh, we're going to advance these cultists for 3, so we're going 9. Sorry, who gets 14? The little grab thing? Or, oh, no, your bikes. Oh, the bikes, yeah. I'm gonna go there with them. Try and string them out a little bit too. Um, these eight bound have enough to go where I want them to go. So they're gonna go right here. Um, I think this is thick enough to stop you from charging me through the wall. Yeah, it is. Um, come here. My movement phases are going to take significantly longer than his. Just because you have four units, I think. <laughs> Eight. Eight. It's that Ares gunship that's going to really hurt when it comes down. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you know, Bo's watching. He just got his Kragnus in after seven months of waiting for it. So he's very excited to see it. Uh, these are going <laughs> to run onto this point. Two guys there. Okay. Right there. Um... If I can get my base on there, I think I think that's on there. Uh, and they're gonna raise banners. Uh, right. I know that's end of move phase, but we're just gonna do it now. Um, this ball spawn ball. is going to actually he won't be raising banners. I think yeah, someone else. Yeah, the spawn cannot. Um, these berserkers are going to advance. Four. Very nice. So they're going ten. They're gonna go an inch away from that wall. I guess they'll be touching there. Think I can do that? Yeah. Uh, and these eight bound are gonna run up to here. Those are exalted. Um, I did have to. I don't know. That's good. Um, these guys are gonna run up to here. I'm just gonna pollute this building with eight bound. I think. Is what my game plan is here. Very nice. Just because there's no windows, works out pretty good for me. 
Um, they do tend to get tangled in each other. Um, we're going to advance with these corny berserkers. Just going to see where they go. They got three. They can go nine. Hmm. Don't really want to put them into the line of fire. Thanks for the train. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, we almost, we try to make sure that all of our tables that have train are, are painted up. We have an AOS tournament this weekend and I've been working around the clock getting the AOS stuff painted up. It's such cool train. I do have a few pieces on these boards that aren't 100% painted. That's why it's back here in the stream room. <laughs> but we'll get it all finished up. But yeah, we, I've loved this Mechanicus train a lot. I've got a couple more sets of it I gotta paint up too so we can have all um, 18 of our tables all trained up. Jeez, Carl, you make, you get a, you make me get a chess clock here. Just hey, bro. Kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm about to shoot your bikes, okay? About to shoot my bikes? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I have shooting. Not great shooting. But I have shooting. This spawn is going to sit pretty. He's just going to move a little bit over to make space for these eight bound to touch this point. And they will be raising a banner here. Um, so let me get some dice for banners. We're gonna use the custody dice. Very banner nice. there. Uh, banner here. So I've put down two banners so far. Um, and then he is going to do the action to the radiate out one. And I'm currently on four, uh, three points in No Man's Land. Yep, so you'll get a full three for that. Very nice. A full three. Um, and then we'll do some shooting, and I think my turn will be over. Um, I don't have much to do. He kind of went out of range of my shooting. So, alrighty. We're going to do the Demon Prince into the... Four mana bikes, I think. Demon Prince into the four mana bikes. All right, he has a 24 inch range, which I'm sure is within range. Yep. Three shots, he's on threes. He's not the best. He uh, missed, missed everything. everything. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and then I end my turn. Okay. Let's see. I was up to four CP for that. So, all right, so for scoring at the end of your turn, um, so let's see. So you got your banners, two of them down. You got three for the mission secondary. Um, pile of skulls and blood gods do. Probably not yet, huh? Not yet. You have not killed me on a point, and I have not spent any blood points yet. Okay. Sweet. So at the beginning of my turn, um, is this a hold two and more objective? Yeah. This should be a hold two and more. Going to have to see. Which you do hold two. Which is good. Yep, it's a two or more. So I'll at least get a whopping four. <laughs> which is good. But if I'd gotten any closer, I feel like there would have been a charge impending, so I had to be careful on that front. Alrighty. There you go. Alrighty. Watch out for your little guys. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to move them to the side over here. I think that's a good idea. Alright. them all the way. Perfect. So, at the beginning of my turn here... I think I am going to move into my secondary kata. We're going to do Cap Taurus and do Stance 1. Switch him a melee attack is made into this unit. The hit roll cannot be re-rolled. I feel like that's a good one going into your turn 2. We're going to see, though. Okay. Movement phase. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm up to a whopping 7 CP. I'm up to 5. Yeah, holy cow. Does that mean you can deep strike Angron? <laughs> no. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Angron has to die for him to deep strike. Gotcha. Let's see, you got two dudes in there. Oh, I don't want to get greedy. <laughs> you should get greedy in charge of them. I don't think I'm going to be greedy. Okay. You as should be. As much as I'd like to. You should be greedy. I'd like to be. 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, we're gonna go ahead and go movement-wise here. You're all castled up. I am. That was the that was the goal. I don't really like getting shot for free. Yeah, you do. And fortunately against you, I can I can sort of stem it a little bit. Unless you move out there. That'd be cool. I'm gonna go here. I don't like being that close, but it's a 95 point unit. If he dies, he dies. Do be careful. Um, I can rope intervene six inches for one CP with any core unit. Very nice. Um, let's see. There, there. Let's do um, this four man right here. Where is it gonna go? Where is it gonna go? I think we're gonna have it. I've got 14 inches of movement. I'm gonna chuck it over here. Perfect. I think my reason being is I'd like to be able to throw. They do have range. windows, so yes, you can. A little out of range, though, which is a bummer. Uh, your emissaries, you could have chosen to stay in Salvas, I believe, okay. if you really wanted to. Um, I don't want to. I'm happy where I'm at. I'm actually not going to go for that objective. I'm going to stay. I don't think I'm going to stay out here. I just want to. Let's see, I got a 24 inch range to go into those two. So <laughs> we're actually going to be super dicey here. That is very dicey. These are normal 8 pounds, so they can do the heroic intervention. That's if I don't charge you, though, correct? Well, I, actually can I get no to heroic what, intervene yeah. at any time. It's true. They do fight last. Let's see. Um, this cap. Actually, wouldn't win. I fight first? Because it's defender. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's a blood surge. My bad. I am confused. Okay. I am very confused as well. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These guys are going to pop out over here. We're just going to kind of spread out so we can launch some shots places. I'm interested in where that plane's going to come down. Because is, is it in deep strike or strategic reserves? Strategic reserves. Okay. I'm going to go there. Let's see. I do not know if it can come out right here. As long as it's not near deployment zone. So I'm probably going to come in right over here in my deployment zone. Yeah. And I got a 50 inch move. So I'm going to do a big old. Can you move after coming out? I believe that's how it works. I don't think you can move. It just comes down. It just comes down. Is it six inches or how far is it? Um, let me double check. Actually, let's look at the rules of aircraft. Let's look at the rules. In yeah. here. I probably should have done that before this game. Sorry, guys. No, it's all good. Let's see. Uh, the core rules are in the back of the... Mm. Well, I think it's an Arx Omen specific thing, isn't it? Uh, it just makes it start with reserves. They arrive in the reinforcement move, so they cannot. Mm. And then reinforcements, you can come in how many inches off the board edge? Six? Six inches of any board edge other than the enemy, enemy's battle edge, mm. which is this edge, I think. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Um, they cannot be set up within nine inches of any enemy models. That's A-OK. -okay. Because this guy is going right here. Nice. Look at him go. It's going to try. Mm, it might be too heavy. No, I, I, think it, I think it works. It's risky. Look at Boom! that huge there thing is. over there, yeah. His base is going to be right under here. Because um, we're going to stick him there, I think, depending on the range of his guns. Oh, yeah, we're happy camper. All right, we're staying there. Okay, awesome. Which leaves just this five pack. Uh... Put some here for a six inch. It's a nine inch charge around the corner. 
those pieces kind of came off when I was moving it. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> like according to plan. According to plan. So this charge would not be as bad because that's four inches before so that's eight inch charge. And there's less scary shit over here though. Of course, any ground's gonna be up. Um. Yeah, we still got Angry Ron over here in the corner. I'm hanging out. I'm actually gonna have these five. Get him, move him. We're gonna spread out a tab this way. Okay, sweet. So let me see, let me see. Sorry for moving around the camera so much, guys. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right, perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and roll into um, our shooting phase. I am going to go ahead and launch. Um, Let's do, let's do um, these four missile shots into those two. Okay. So I need twos, and then I need twos. Ooh. I'll CP roll one of those twos with my CP. <laughs> Just enough, two of them at AP4. AP4, I can save on sixes here. Yep. Which I don't, they both die. Um, getting you a blood tie point. Getting me a blood tie point. I'm up to two. Also, I get a VP for that. Because you killed something on a point. That point's now been bathed in blood. Gamer. So let's see. So now Even I'm though it's my own blood, not yours. <laughs> okay, so they did their job. Kind of spendy job, but did it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, let's do... The tw How many wins do these guys have a piece? They have three each. Yeah, I'm going to do the twin arachnus into them. So twos. Ugh. Feeling that not Empress Chosen right now. Yeah. Here's a wound. AP4. Save AP3. on four ups. Save. It's good. And these guys will shoot these berserkers here. Okay. He will. Um, what will do, do his big shots too. Oh. Okay. One more wound. AP4. Save on a six. Take it. Um, three damage. This guy will die. And then they will blood search six inches straight into this guy. Can you get into engagement range? I it? can. I can pull it up too if you want to look. No, that's good. If you say you're good, you're good. You didn't play into the next, so I'm sure you got your rules down on that one. Um, okay, I'm going to do um, these four bikes into those berserkers. Actually, okay. I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the cannon into those berserkers. Okay. Now I'll do the bike. <laughs> All right. Four bikes into the Zerkers. They all, all hit. hit. Two die. Two wounds. They're going to Blood Surge. Two inches. Safe. <laughs> We're just gonna go on that cover right there. There okay. we go. I'm gonna put the Twin Arachnus from them, from the uh, thing into them. I'm gonna see like half my shots hurt. Oh. Okay, that's one wound. AP3. AP3 into them? Yeah. Uh, I'll take it in the guy in cover. So fives, safe. Okay. Uh, I think I might be able to blood search multiple times. Let me double check. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Mm. Oh. So hard to look at this book and also put the camera. Each time, I can move. Okay. And it does, I don't have to die to do it. So I get three more inches of movement. Very nice. And we're going to take this under the point. All right. Does that mean I can shoot your demon prince now? Uh, he is within range of three units here, uh, three models here, okay. and these are closer. Gotcha. So no. Sounds good. Um, yeah, and my heart racing there for a second. I I thought I. I know. It's a very far extent, three inches. I'll go ahead and drop. Uh, for a, these guys. 
Oh, I just say like it's almost three inches. That's how I was like. Oh, I can measure. No, I, I'm not gonna got gotcha. you. You meant it to be that way. Um, I'm gonna do the missile launcher into that guy. Okay. Um, from through the window there. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll do that. Shooting at the uh, these guys right there. So that's a hit. That's a wound. AP four on them. Uh, I will CPU roll that. I right, save. Nice. Okay. That could have been really bad. Could have been. Okay, and then this guy here, the big bird that we've all been waiting for, he, I feel like it's a waste of shots, but he's gonna go ahead and put, hmm, 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 hmm. what's he gonna do? He's gonna put his shots into, um, he's gonna do his, He's not on the board. So. He's gonna do a heavy blaze cannon burst profile into the cultist. <laughs> and then he's gonna do um hmm. he'll do the Magna Blaze Cannon. <sighs> it's one big ship. He'll just do this the burst profile into the berserkers. So we're gonna start off into the cultists. It's gonna be four shots. Needs twos. Okay. And it's strength seven, so probably twos. Are you? Uh, I am T three. Oh. No, I'm T three. I'm T three. Yeah. So I'll be three at AP three on the cultists. Okay. They they die. Okay. Um. I get one more butt die point. I'm up to three. Then three more shots going into the berserkers. All hit. All hit. Strength nine, so twos. Twos. Oh, that was oh. not what needed to happen. That's a bummer. Okay, so it's gonna be one at AP uh, three. And, and I save it. it. What a chat. But All I right. also get to move again. True. Um, got a six. Mm. But I'm not gonna go and engage a range. Okay. Um, let me see. Man, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. For, so if you guys watching wanted to know, my hope was to clean out these guys so I could charge the Demon Prince and kill it. So that was a bummer to not get to do that. But that's okay. That happens sometimes. So I'm about, I think my Black Templar's dice are salty at me for choosing a new faction. Because the you like, games I've played, I've little. Would you like to use my facility <laughs> dice? No, it's okay. They'll clean up eventually. I'm just getting out of the way from Moses Lake. Um, all right, sweet. So that should be all my shooting, because these five I don't think have any eligible targets to shoot. Okay, at the end of your shooting phase, mm -hmm. I'm going to spend three blood tithe, blood tithe points for plus one to charge. Awesome. For my entire army for the rest of the game. Nice. Um, wonderful, wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and my shield captain is gonna go into your... Into my cultist? Yep. He's just gotta go around, it's like a four, I think. It's or a three. At 10 will do me pretty happy. Yeah, a 10 will do you pretty good. So we're gonna go, we're gonna try to, I guess I'll consolidate onto the objective later on, hopefully. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, there's that. Um, does he have, or uh, he does not, that's my bad. And then let's do, he's already fighting over there. Um, and then, and I guess those four are gonna go into those berserkers. Get their points worth for their die. Well, that's not nice, actually. They could, they could actually not die. That's true. So we're going to go ahead and go right up into these bad boys. Awesome. Okay. Um, and since we fight first with everything, yep. um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shield captain. Okay. Well, you can still counter interrupt, obviously. But... Um, I, think, I don't think I will be. I'm just going to fight on death with them. This is what's going to happen. Oh, that makes sense. All right. So the captain's going to go ahead and he's got a chunky amount of attacks. Let's see what he, he can does. do. He's also got some nice buffs too, which is fun. So um, he has six attacks. Um, he's got a lot of interesting things going on. <laughs> Uh, Your list is very interesting. It's something that I would definitely want to play if I had that many bikes, but I do not. You have so many bikes. Oh my gosh. I do. 
Um, I think I have even more than Mitchell when we wrote it. He's got a lot, but I, th I think I have 18 bikes total. That's what I don't I think that's what he bought. I no, he's, he's still missing three. Is he still, he's still missing three? Missing three. But he said he's shelving Cassetti, so he didn't want three. Because I had some of the Oh, he's shelving them? Some. For now. He's, he's playing guard. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. He got hooked on that sweet, sweet he red did. banner. All right. So twos. All hit. And I wish sixes had something in the hit phase. <laughs> but you do more wounds than me, right? Yeah. Uh, not, not yet, but in the wound phase. Um, all wounds? I think all wounds. I'm uh, wounds. You have plus one wound and you charge. So. Yeah. So how many damage, is that? Um, oh, it, yeah. So it's gonna be a uh, six. Six, uh, six die. Misericordia, hits, wounds, minus two. Uh, Misericordia. Yeah, minus two, he's wounded. One more. Yeah. And then uh, Misericordia wounded, so he just kills a guy. Leaves just the Dishonored. Nice. And I'm going to tap onto the objective into the building here. Okay. And then into the Berserkers. I'll be surprised if that Dishonored stays. Uh, I'd be surprised too. I mean, you could spend two CP on him. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt I will. Come on. It gives me a VP when he dies. Come on. Who thinks that Corrin should spend two CP on keeping... I actually should have done it the other way. Now that I think about it. Because then I could have bathed in blood that point. But unfortunately, I did it the other way. Let's see. Okay, so let's do the okay. here and then. Got all the bikies. That's a four-man squad. So they have four attacks apiece. Oh, they, they have a, an egregious amount of attack. I, I'm gonna spend one CP to fight on death. Sounds good. Okay, so here we go. Um, and then I don't think I'm within nine inches of the captain, but I could be. Your voice is amper, right? So he gives the extra. Yeah. Uh, I give it to you. Okay, it's just a one. Yay. Okay, um, uh, two, <laughs> twos. Okay, so that's gonna be 11 at minus three, I think. Wow. Oh, they still die. Yeah, <laughs> it's impressive, but. If there was AOC, they didn't, and then I would have to roll six more, but they die. So all three of them die. And then I'm Ooh, going to console. Uh, we'll consolidate towards you like this. Okay, that does bathe that point in blood. I get one more blood point, um, and then I'm going to spend. Damn spears. I'm going to spend one CP for yeah. gory dismember. Yeah. Uh, any sixes to win will cause one water wound to you. Very nice. Um, and three died, uh, the champion and the axe included. So they get four attack space. Okay. Uh, champion will get six, and I'll roll these separately. Yeah. Uh, were they within range of a demon prince? Oh, I can't even roll hit or hold in the oak, right? Yeah. So, these are on threes. Very nice. And then these are on fours, because I get plus one to strength when I get charged. Very nice. Oh, uh, well, wow. You take I'm not even wound. complaining about my dice anymore. Oh, um, okay. You take them one wound. <laughs> okay. And one at neg two. Okay. So one's down to four, and then one at neg two, which would be a four up. He takes it. Uh, one damage. Down to three. And then we'll do the um, chain glaive. Uh, four hit. And then these are on threes, strength eight. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> one at neg, uh, neg four. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, so four up in one. Nope, two damage. Down to one. Okay. Um, can you mark me down for... Yeah, so two. what have you gotten exactly off of my turn here? So, so, you've killed me on the point here, so I get one VP for that. You killed me here, I get one that VP for that. Is that blood gods do? Yes. So, okay. Um, that should be it. Even if this guy dies, he can't bathe the point in blood again. Um, I'll roll his morale later. Uh, well, I, you have to fight me here first, I think. <laughs> what is their combat profile? I don't know. I've got, it's looking like, two attacks. Woo. Hit non-sixes. No. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So, your guys may swing back. Okay. Uh, they're going to pile in. Makes sense. Um, five attacks. What T is your guy there? T, uh, six. 
So I've lost one. We'll put the chain glaive to the side. These are on threes. Yeah. Oh, angle. <laughs> Falls onto the battlefield. And then your T what, sorry? Um, they're T6. T6 on the grab pellet. So fours. Fours. Okay. So that's six at Nick two. So six five ups. Oh, uh, one damage each. Okay, so it's down to four wounds. And then the chain glaive. Okay. Hits four. Wait, no, I, I think I rolled an extra dice there. I'm gonna reroll that. I rolled six dice. Oh, okay. Um, three at neg four. Okay, so five ups again. Two damage each. It dies, does a blow. It does. It does. Ooh, is it within um, six of your uh, eight bound, good sir? Uh. Oh, it's three inches. Sad. Sad. Makes sense. I'm only eight wounds. Okay, so you're taking two mortal wounds. Two more wounds. One just dies. Um, that gets me two blood points. So I'm up to four blood points right now. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. Oh, yeah. And uh, for the first battle round of the game, I did get... Uh, grand and I will consolidate oh, I know, I no of grand. I towards grand. you here. But I did get my... Or, uh... And what did I take? Um, you took Orc Mortalis, uh, not Orc, uh, Stan Vigil. Orc Mortalis. And Stan Vigil is... Uh, you control more No Man's Land than me, which you do. I, uh, but I think that was, isn't that at the end of the Yeah, because I throw my owl, actually. Oh, he right. runs, gets me another blood type point, so I'm up to five. One second. Sorry, everybody. Like I said, kind of still brand new here. Um... So that's at the end of the battle round. So at the last battle round, you controlled more than I did. So I wouldn't have got that on... Um... No, uh, you controlled two. I control one. Uh, but at the ran. end of the battle round. This is the top of turn two. Yeah, so but he ran a row. For this, uh, yes, but this is the bottom of turn two now. So at the oh, end of the battle the turn round. turn one, you did not. I did turn... not. That's what I'm saying, yep. Um... And then for that was that was for Stan Vigil. Oric Mortalis is not yet. And then no prisoners. I'm scoring as I go. Yep. All but right. you've already killed a decent amount of wounds. I think Do it's you want just to three points. Move them to the back counter so they won't get I ravaged will. by the cord. Um, and then I'm pretty happy there. Cool. So at the beginning of your turn, I'll actually stop your secondary gaining. Unless my prim uh, my primary. Yeah, because you won't have any objectives. Um, oh, okay, never mind. It works out. We're good. I have to start on a point to get that, uh, that VP, but that cultist did start on the point, so he did in blood. Very nice. All right. So I go up to five. I go up to five as well. So you should have, uh, two points for bathing blood. Is that, is that blood gods do? Blood gods do, sorry. Okay, no, you're good. So two points for that? Two points for that. Okay, cool. That's what I was curious. Okay. Awesome. Alrighty, so the beginning of your round one, I'll go up to a whopping five CP. I should actually go see if there's things I can use this for. Um, and then <laughs> I have uh, I have two banners. So two I banners. Two points uh, for turn two. Yes. For now. So I take those banners away. Okay. Two banner points. Awesome. Okay. Go for it. Let's see here. Um... At the start of my turn, I only control one, so I actually get zero for primary. Yeah. You, you knock me off. I'm at five blood points. What can I spend that on? Let's see here. And bikes, you can't do the um, the transhumanite anymore, correct? They no. got rid of that. They got rid of that. Mm. Explain how the blood tide works really fast, Corin, so people um, doesn't know. So, 
if every unit from my army has the world leader's keyword, mm -hmm. um, I get to activate blood tithe basically. And each time I use destroy it, I get one blood point. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of any phase, if a character, monster, or vehicle was destroyed, I get an additional blood point. And if it's titanic, I get an additional blood point. So if I kill his vehicle there, um, I get three blood points. Um, but that can't stack. So like, if I kill that thing over there and I kill the plane as well, I'd only get three. I can't get the four or five because of the extra two from him. It would just be one. It's like a check boxes you mark off. And then um, at the end of each phase, after gaining blood type points, I can spend them. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blood tithe abilities, uh, thematic. Um, one of them is plus one to charge for three, uh, five for exploding sixes, another five for plus one to hit, uh, another four for a six of final pain for my entire army, uh, which I might spend, I haven't decided yet. Six for sixes auto wounds, uh, two for five up final pain against mortal wounds, four for improve my AP by one, Six to bring Angron back, and then, uh, yeah, that, I think that's all of them. Nice. Uh, I have five right now, which I'm kind of thinking of saving them. So if you kill Angron, I can just bring him back. Uh, I don't have a command phase ability, so we're going to go straight to movement. Yeah. Um, Does your bike captain have the five of Finnepin? Yes. I am going to really quick at the start of your movement phase. I'm going to tangle foot. Um, Can let's... you tangle foot fly units? I don't think so. Nope, I cannot tangle foot fly units. I am going to tangle foot. Um... I actually don't think you can tangle foot. Uh, it's mm -hmm. infantry. What's that mean? Uh, tangle foot is infantry. Only infantry can yeah. throw it. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, shoot. That's something to think about. Okay. Cool. The custodian shrines are so weird. They're very specific. Um, Good to know. My tape measure's dying. Um, okay. So, I'm at for five. You're up to five. Yep. I'm trying to see if I want to spend any blood points here. I think I'll wait. I don't have to spend right now. Um, we're gonna go on our movement. The imprint there. He has a minus one to wound relic. Here's some eight bound. And they get plus two move, so. They have an effective 11 inches of movement. Um, I think they're actually gonna go over here. Kick out. Lord Invocatus is gonna go right here. Okay. We're gonna have his... Does okay. he ignore invulns or does he ignore... He ignores invulns. That's right. Uh, we're gonna have Exalted go right here. What's the AP on his weapon? Four. Okay. Let me double check. It might be three. His AP is three. Nice. Um, these guys, we're going to go inside this building. Inside this building. Um, actually, they're going to go like this. Yep. Uh -huh. These eight bound are going to go up and touch that objective marker. Checks out. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm tired. You're touching it, yeah. There we yeah. got two on there. Yep. Um, gonna have to come over here to do that. Uh, 
I'm very scared of that plane. I think we're going to actually move some movement around here. I think these Deep exalted. A really rough part about playing world eaters, which I know a lot of melee armies feel, is that you are very... It could be rough as far as having to deal with... Fight first. Mm-hmm. We'll fight first, but it also can be kind of rough dealing with, um... Angro's gonna come down right there. Uh, having to deal with, if you don't have much shooting, it's very hard to respond to an army that's blasting you with shots. Not that my army has a ton of shots, but it's a lot of basically Meltas, better Meltas, so it's just kind of like, oof. That's, uh, that's why I started him in Deep Strike. I just couldn't really think of a... Um... Okay, now we're going to go into the charge phase. Okay. Um, let me see if I want to spend anything for end of movement. I don't think I will. Uh, I won't. We're going to save that for some VP later. Um, the spawn will do the action to irradiate out, so I'll get two. Okay, sounds good. The spawn can do actions, right? I think it just is a unit. I, it's, on the back I think it's one. just a unit. It's not like banners. It's yeah. not like banners. Okay, cool. Yep, so you'll get two for that. Very nice. Um, and then we will go into our charge phase, the most exciting phase, obviously. Okay. Um, we're gonna start with the charge that matters the most. Angron, 8-inch charge into those bikes. He has plus 1 charge from my blood type stratagems. We'll overwatch him, I think. Just because, why not? So, 4s hitting on 6s. You're rolling 1s. Ah, none of them. All right. I don't make it. We're going to see if we roll that. We're going to grab some different dice. Still don't make it. Angron's not going to go into combo with those 5 bikes. That kind of hurts. Um... We're gonna do Lord Emocatus and those five bikes. He makes it. We're gonna do these three exalted eight bound. They make it. That's what I wanted earlier. Coming down in there. Uh, we're gonna do the Demon Prince into the bike, Captain. Um. That is a good question. I don't know why I have a picture in a picture. I'm gonna throw this up here while Corwin makes the rest of his charges while I go try to figure that out. We don't want that. Uh, we're gonna do the eight pound here. Uh, 11. Uh, we're going to do those Berserkers. Uh, get a seven. it for my charges um is there really a really good picture within a picture looks like we're actually looking okay we're looking okay i think it just bo you might want to try to close out of your app and reopen it so i made the charge over there very nice uh made an 11 inch charge with these eight pound over here okay 
uh, made a nine inch charge. It just, the dice are laughing at me. That's all right. Made a nine inch charge with my demon prince right okay. here. Uh, Lord of Akkadis and this eight pound got in. Okay. Um, now we're going to go into the fight phase. Um, at the end of the charge phase, I'm going to spend uh, five blood points. And for anyone that wonders, this is going to be a little messy because my whole army has fight first across the front. And what that means for an army like this is, you have fight first also, right? No. No? What it means for an army like this is we're going to roll down basically as both being, everybody basically becomes the defender. Because he is no longer, none of his units are in the charge bracket anymore. So I'll actually get to swing first. But... Um, if I then choose to interrupt, I get to swing again before his second chance. I get to swing first because I charged, but then he gets to swing yes. after that. and then I can do a second attack before he gets to swing in with the interrupt because it will put me in the charge bracket. You should already be in it. Yeah, I'm, I, I basically will be in it, so yeah. So it'll be very interesting. It's a lot of, uh, the math kind of bounces around a bit with this. It does, it does. Um... We're gonna fight first with these eight pound. I spent. I just spent five blood points for exploding sixes. Okay. Um, we're gonna do with the eight pound first. Okay. And we're gonna spend two CP for red butchers. So all the damage on my weapons just went up one. Nice. So the sergeant is damage four, and the rest yeah. are damage three. Get over here. Get all my dice ready. That's right. Um. Sergeant has six attacks. The rest have five. I think I can one second really quick. Um, I will go ahead and I think I have a way to make you minus one to hit. Let's see. Um, I just was looking at it. I might be crazy, but let me double check. So we're actually going to swing with the Eviscerator on the other guys to get them more attacks. Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay, we're good. Go more. Okay, these are on twos, exploring sixes, because they're exalted, so they hit on twos. Yep. No re-rolls. No re-rolls, uh, but I do get two back, so I basically get my hits back. Yep. And then we're wounding you on threes, because we're strength six up to seven when we charge. Yep, very nice. So you have nine coming your way uh, at neg three, three damage. Good. Four ups, two of them. Um, I will, I think I'm going to save my CP for more important rolls. Um, so it's three damage a piece, so you'll kill the one damage guy and you'll kill two others. And then I have six more attacks from the leader. One and two. Okay. And he hits on twos. We're looking for sixes. We don't get any. Okay. And then these are on threes. So you have three coming your way at neg four. Okay. These are four damage a piece. Nice. He lives with one. Thank goodness for custodian bikers having five wins. And then we're going to consolidate onto the point here. Checks out. We're going to start... Um, our swing back with my bike captain. What is your Demon Prince's loadout, out of curiosity? Um, he has a five up invul in melee, but he has minus one of wounds. Yeah. Um, and he has T6 with eight wounds. And he has eight attacks of strength, 10, nega, three, three damage. Yeah, eight attacks, strength, yeah, 10, neg, three, three damage. We'll go ahead and put our attacks into him, I think. Well, they found have a five up. They both have a five up in both. They're both the. They're, they even have a four ones. up though, right? No, oh, no. Uh, they, those aren't exalted. Then actually, probably gonna go ahead and put all the shots into the eight bound. Okay. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because then I can test the point with you if I kill them all. Mm -hmm. Gonna see how it goes. So I need uh, my minus one to hit them. No. no. Okay. So I, T5, though. I need uh, twos, hit with everything, and then I'm going to need threes, 
because I didn't charge, so no plus one to wound. Um, but six is do mortals. Wound so off. that's going to be uh, six at AP three, and then a mortal at the end. Oh, my five up. Ooh, wow. Wow. Take one, one guy dies. Because the mortal wound. Yep. Because they're three damage piece, right? Uh, they're three out the piece, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then Misencordia, just for good luck. He hits. He wounds. Ooh, that was almost a six. I know. Uh, Minus two. I take it. One damage. One is down to two. Okay. Um, okay. And then I will spend the CP to interrupt. And then to three. And I'm going to start off with that biker here. And he is going to... What is Lord Invocatus' stat? Um, he is T6 with eight wounds and a four pinball. And two upstairs. Hmm. And the eight pound have a four pinball. I'm going to Lord Invocatus. So... Well, nah, I'm going to go eight pound. If I kill one, I can shoot you. Okay, so we go there. So I'll hit. Uh, we're looking at, I haven't used my reroll yet. I'm going to use a CP reroll for that last one. So four wounds at AP3. Put me down to two CP. Uh, I will CP reroll one of these. Okay. No. Got him. One goes down. One goes down. And now you may elect your next. Um, you have a fight over there next, so I'm just going to do this. Oh, uh, actually, I could stop if you get a damage through. I'll go over there, because um, these two have fought, right? Yes. Okay, I'll go over there. Um, six for the sergeant. These are hitting on threes. Exploding sixes. No sixes. And we're wounding. Well, the fours. So you have four coming your way at neg two. All right, five ups. Saves two of them. How much damage? Uh, one damage each. So down to six wounds. And then, unfortunate. And then three at neg four. Five ups. No, uh, two damage each. Oh, he goes. Does he blow? Nope. No, but that point is bathed in blood. Yes. Uh, and that's a blood tie point. So I'm up to one. Um, we'll do Lord of Mokadis here. It's gonna yeah. go like that. He has eight attacks. He hits on twos. Uh, one exploding six. He wounds you on threes. Mm. Um, that is six on neg three. Uh, no invulse. So five up. Six. Make three, no invulns, so five ups. Feeling pretty good. I only got one health though. Two damage so. each? Yeah, so, he does. Yeah. Okay, that bases him in blood. He'll go on to the point. Um, so that's one, two. And then we're gonna fight with the demon prince here. He gets eight attacks as well. And these are on twos. We get exploding sixes, so we get two back. One. Yeah. Perfect. And then we wound you on threes. So that's five at neg three. Okay, five four ups. So three make, two fail, three apiece. Yep. I think I'm alive still, but barely. You have eight wounds. Yeah, so two left. All right. Heck yeah. Did you throw that down on my little man over there? I can. And then the eight pound will attack him. Okay. And that is six for the sergeant. Five for the other guy. He'll attack with his last raider, so we'll get an extra. Um, uh, these are hitting on threes, because they're not exalted. Mm -hmm. Oh, there was a six, sorry. Good. And then threes. So that is five at neg three. Okay. I think they're two damage piece, right? Two damage piece. Yeah, so he dies. Yeah. Right now. And then that's bait the blood. hand him to me real quick. Will. This is an awesome model, by the way. Everyone always says when they give you the model after they kill it. Yep. Every time. All right. Uh, no one ever says it when your model's killing me. I get two blood. <laughs> I get two blood points for that. Yep. So in total, this turn, I get three points yep. for uh, the blood gods do. Okay. Um, and then one, two, three. I, I get four blood points. So I'm up to four. Four blood points, up to four again. Very nice. 
Okay, pile of skulls. You get anything for that yet, or what is that? Um, I have not spent any blood points for it yet. Okay. Um, it's only turn two. Uh, you know what? I will spend two uh, blood points, so I'm down to two, and I get four VP for that. So that is very strong secondary. That is yeah. absurdly strong secondary. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. All right. We will roll into turn three. I hold nothing, so I'm also smacked on that. Um, so let's see what I'm going to do. What am I going to do? Got everything I have now, which is nice. Well, I'm actually at three blood points I because do... the vehicle died. True. Oh, no, it's vehicle or character. Never mind. Got two. Can't double stack that. Okay. Start off with some movement. So we're going to start over here. Ah, let's take that right there. It's 2k okay. bound. Creeping around. Don't like it. Um, so we got them over there. I'm right here. Eight bound aren't obsec, are they? Nope. Nice. Not unless I'm disciples of the red angel. So we're gonna get up right in your business with these guys. Just like right in the way, which will give me that point. And then happy there. Good there, you have eight bound there, which I don't like. Oh, but I can deal with this actually, so we're not gonna worry about that. So then these guys are gonna go ahead and come over here. Which will also, well, you have a chance to keep that banner if I charge. I'm gonna roll up over here. Um, this guy's got a big 50 inch move, so. He is going to go 28 inches right here. Bop. Then Well, let me see. Cause I get to Hmm. Aircraft, your pivots are what again? I keep forgetting about that. I think it's 90. And then you get to move, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you might have to be like here. Yeah, so I'm right there. If I do a 90. Because these both have fly, so. Nice. Okay. No, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna take my where I am here and I'm gonna fly over this point right here. Boo! Right to there, I think. Well I gotta be there. You're right there. I just gotta go. Okay, so in that case, I'm just gonna go right here and pretty much fly all the way to that back corner. Okay. Because then if I get a 90 again, should allow me to. I'm just do, doing my math here. Sorry. Just let me to go that way. So. You can just put your hover if you need to. Yeah. So we go there. Okay. Then, so he's flying over here. Super exciting. I'm just gonna put him on the book over here for the time being. Um, he moved there. We moved there. We're good. So let's go ahead and at the end of the movement phase, he is going to drop his fire bombs right here. Okay. Which should get me. If I put it. Right where he flew over, she give me that squad, that squad, Lord Invo, and that squad. Okay. So, basically, this squad right here on a four up will take one mortal wound. Lord Invo takes his mortal wounds and he'll take three. Squad in the building won't take any. This squad will take some and will take one mortal wound. Yeah, fun. Uh, and then he's going to do the action. Okay. And I'm going to spend the CP just now so I can still shoot and do the action. Um, but I'll do the action, which will get me two, because I'll control two points. 
now for the fun part. Um, he is going to put his shots into them. Okay. So he needs twos. We'll see. Do I do that now or do that later? I won't do that. I won't do this. That one doesn't matter. Much. So I'll do that one. Heal wound at uh, AP four on the eight bound. Uh. He does. Yeah. It was right here, by the way. These five, I'm going to do, I think, <laughs> um, I saved my rear all, so I'm going to do these three into them. Okay. And two into the Lord Invo. Okay. So the three into them. I'll reroll one of them. Jesus. Oh. Well, uh, one dies. Uh, they blood surge. Six inches. And they will be blood surging. I can't. I actually have to go towards the nearest target. Mm -hmm. uh, I won't. So one does die, though. Oh yeah. Just give me uh, the one behind. There you go. The two into the Lord and Bacatus. They both hit. They both wound. Uh, he takes one. D3 plus three, four, six. He dies. Oh, wow. uh, I get two blood point points. Okay. We're going to do um, that those. That at the end of the round. I get one right now. So I'm up three. Four. And that's spade and blood. Those four we're going to go ahead and do into Angron. So, uh, twos. T7. Threes. So, two of them. Uh, he doesn't take any. Very nice. And then the big ship is hovering over there. Hmm. He's going to do his Rachnus Magma Blaze Cannon into Angron, then he's going to put his, um, well, yeah, no, he's not. Hmm. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Let's do. What's Angron's move? 16 inches. He's going to go ahead and do the, um, the beam shot into these guys. And then he's going to do the... Do I still get the benefit of obscuring? Of obscuring? Oh, you're all no. over here. Never mind. You're good. Yeah. I, I forget how big this plane is. Yeah. And then he's going to shoot the... Um, No, he's not. There's a good chance to go for that. Oh, it's an incision. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and put the um, three shots into from the Ebby, the burst from the Magma Blaze here, and then he's going to put um, the Arachnus Cannon into the spawn. Okay. Wow. Well, Here, over here, there, there. Better. Uh, it's a pretty far charge. Gee, this was. Um. Sorry, 
do some math. So let's see. Two. Ten. Uh, fly, I think, ignores the uh, dense frame. What is exalted and what isn't? Um, these are exalted. Are you and, in the middle exalted? Uh, you've... These are exalted. But these two aren't? Those are not. These are. Those are not. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, sorry. These are exalted. Okay, so those two in the middle aren't? Yeah. Well, let's do... <laughs> sorry, guys. This is taking forever. I apologize. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, the the blaze cannon here, and then I'll do his one big cannon shot. We'll go ahead and just put it into. <laughs> I'll put it into the spawn target. All right. Yep. All right. So three shots into these guys. Forty inch range. So I'm within range. Needs twos. Needs twos. So three at AP uh, three. Into, sorry, the spawn, or them, 3 dp 3 uh, sixes, they die, that gives me a uh, VP. Yeah, and then into the spawn. Into four blood points. He hits, he wounds, and that is at AP um, four. It dies, uh, how yeah. much damage? D3 plus three. Uh, he dies no matter what? Yeah. Fade in blood. Okay. Um, there's that. So, charging, um, these guys are going to go into the lone eight bound. Okay. Get the two fists. I don't really think I have much hope of charging anybody else right now. Yeah, we're happy. So. Bet. That poor eight bound. Okay. Um, and then. So yeah. Fighting. Because your goal was not to be charged there, right? As you're intending. Um, if I can't, if I if I'm on the point and I have to be charged, if I'm on the point, then you can charge me. Looks like I can. So then we will charge there as well. Okay. That's a good point. You did have to get out of the point. So. I'm totally okay with you know that happening. I'm like, it is what it is. It just gets me under VP. It's true. It's true. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So. We're going to go ahead and um, start off with these guys. Okay. So they're four piece. Plus one to wound on the charge. Sheesh. They're exalted, so I can't fight on death. So here we go. Um, <laughs> no rerolls for this little cluster of ones. In there. Um, and when you on twos. Yep. Okay, so how many? It's gonna be nine. Nine at uh, four ups. Turn. Take three. Wow. Pretty good. Wow. So one dies. And one's wounded. And one is wounded at one. Mice and Cordias. Oh, uh, he's at two. He's got two damage. Piece. Yeah, he's at one. Mice and Cordias. Oh, this guy. Two more at AP two. Say both. All right. That was really lucky on my part, actually. Do a shin rep. Um. Sorry. Uh. I will interrupt. He's the sergeant, so he gets six attacks. Hitting on twos. No sixes. Three. Okay. Make four. Three damage each. Woo. One dies. Unless I see pure roll, which I might. Ah, so that's an about CP. Sad. Hate to see it. Okay. Oh, rough. Um. Let's see. So they'll swing back. Twelve attacks. I'll hit. Okay. 
Good charge, so that will be eight. At AP three to save. He dies? So... Okay, awesome. So oh, we're up to six blood, blood points. Many, many. Okay. Awesome. And then, would these guys like to swing back? They would. Uh, the sergeant has six attacks. The other guy is just gonna, he's gonna do his alternative profile for six as well. Okay. We'll do him first. Hitting on twos. Exploding six, there we go. Wounding on threes. Uh, three at neg three. Three at neg three. Okay. Four ups. Ooh, two damage each. Okay, one bike dies. The sergeant. Twos, he gets his, uh, Thing back to the six. Yep. Yep, yep. And then four. And these are three damage apiece. Four and three damage apiece. Okay, another bite dies. Jesus Christ, dude. What are eight bound, man? Very good. Okay. Awesome. I've been playing against Eldar, and like, you don't usually get to see their killing capacity against Eldar. Well, you do, but it's. It just doesn't matter. Yeah. This it this, this matters. And Eldar is not so good because every trade you make is bad. Yeah. Whereas this one, trades are pretty good. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that should be the end of my round three. Um, I get three points for uh, um, the first secondary there. Okay. Is it round or is it... It's round. Okay, so you still have your half of the round to do. Oh. Yes. Okay, so then it's up to four. I've maxed it. Okay, you maxed it. Okay. Okay, perfect. Is this my round? What is this? My round three? Uh, your round is the end of round my three? My round. No, no. This is the end of my turn for three, but the begin it's the beginning of your turn three. Got it. There you go. So I got my man. Okay. Uh, I go for one CP. So do I. Uh, Angron's going to select um, his secondary is going to be his uh, secondary ability is going to be doesn't actually matter so he'll do no fall back um he's gonna get this unit reroll hit rolls uh this unit of eight bound here yeah um and i'm in stance too i suppose no the uh, fall back thing yes I was hoping it would matter this round, but you killed everything, so it didn't, it didn't matter. <laughs> I'm at six blood type points. I'm not going to spend any. Um, uh, the reason we were confused is because I pulled the uh, the actual eight bound model from this three man, because I haven't built that three man yet. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So I'll just remember that those are eight bound. Um, okay, then. Let's go into this. Uh, movement. Um, scoring wise, you'll score four. Because you can, two. yep, yell two. Us high primary fellows, us. I know. <laughs> and for banners, um, I did take this banner away, so you'll score one for banners. Yes. Um. Here come the eight bound. Even more. Uh, these eight pound, they can't go through there. They're gonna go right here. Actually, no, they're gonna go right there. These guys are gonna be the ones. Okay. Yeah, it's an interesting end of round three for me. I only have four units left on the board, and it's only two, three packs of bikes. My plane is probably about to die. 
And then, um, yeah. we'll see. But you can make it. Um, raise banners here. Nice. Um, this three man here. It's gonna do the action, so I get one point here. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for counting as two. Um, charges. Uh, let's start with Angron. Yeah. He's in. Wow. There's the box cars. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, we're gonna do this DM Prince in. Oh, Overwatch. Okay. No, I won't. Yeah, I was about to say he's my uh, son. Wound. I mean, that's still okay. It's still okay. I'm just thinking of uh, I'm I'm gonna save it to fight first. Anyway, okay. He's in. Uh, eight pound. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do these eight pound in those bikes. Yep. Three. Three. It's a four because I get plus one. True. Which is enough. I'll make it. This banner is not here anymore. Very nice. Love to see it. Four inch charge. My bikes are in trouble. I think that's it for my charges. Uh, where do I want to fight first? Uh, we're not going to fight first here, because that's a bad idea. Um, I think we're going to do these three eight bound into those bikes. Yeah. Um, six. Lots of dice. Again, seeing the power of the eight bound. They're so insane, actually. Um, these are on threes because they're not exalted. Okay. But we get two back. Very nice. Uh, threes. So that is nine at neg three. Nine on my four ups. I do pretty good. How much damage? Two damage each. So one bike will die. Okay. Unfortunate mm. with the big axe. One. Mm. Takes it. Three damage. And I'll consolidate onto the point. Makes sense. Alrighty, um, I will interrupt before my fight first. Um, and I will do uh, those three over there. And they're going to go into the eight bound. Okay. So we need um, twos. Do pretty good. I'm gonna say it's cocked. Okay. And then we need oh, threes. We didn't charge. So looks like you're taking eight again. Ooh, the number. I know. I was gonna say I keep, keep giving you your lucky number. It's no They're good. They're not exalted. So far. Nice. Uh, so they are very dead. <laughs> well, that kills yeah. them perfectly. I'm gonna CP roll on these. Nope. I figured, might as well. Okay. They're dead, that's bathed in blood, it doesn't matter because I've already scored max. And now we'll fight, or do our, since that was our interrupt, we'll actually do our fight first here into those four. One's at one wound. Yeah. yeah. We'll start with the misericordias. So, both hit. One wound, maybe two. Take it. Got him. And then the lances. I'll hit. Um, you're T5. I'm T5. Nice. So five at uh, 53. Uh, he's at one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're swing backs now? Yeah, I think it's just my fights now, right? Except uh, for my play next turn. <laughs> I'm going to try to play the wind off of Mr. Angra. Okay. Uh, he was not charged. He does not get an attack. Um, these all hit, but that does not explode. I don't. I think I have to charge to get that. Might want to double. Might want to double check just to be sure. No, just make some melee attack. Okay. So you're looking at four. Nick three. Okay. Uh, one bike dies. Yes. It's three damage piece. Yep. And he'll get even further into that crank. 
right. Awesome. Uh, you need it, Prince. Yep. Oh, I guess my plane pulling. I don't know what it's <laughs> What stats. is his stats? <laughs> Probably not great. Um, wow, six attacks. Wait, really? Yeah. Hit those wow, look at that. I mean, six attacks. Two hits. Strength, eight. Oh, threes. Take that, Ingram. <laughs> he fails. <laughs> takes a Ingram damage. takes a damage. From the plane. Yeet. From the plane. I, I imagine true. the thrusters. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Uh, we'll do the Demon Prince next. <laughs> okay. Uh, these are on twos. Okay. Mm. But he gets that back. Okay. So you're looking at five. Nick three. Okay. Ooh. So one bike dies. Nice. Okay. And then we'll do Angron. <laughs> the moment oh, we've all been have? waiting for. 22. 22. Yes, sir. We're going to do it strike. 22 wounds. Twos. But he gets all of those back. Yep. Uh, T8. Yep. Threes. So you're looking at four, eight, nine at neg four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five ups. Ooh. How much? <laughs> um, three of these. D3 plus three. Four times seven is 28. So plane dies. Does he explode? No. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Oof. Angron's making his moves. Making his way downtown. Eight blood points. Okay. Um, at that. the end of my turn, mm -hmm. I will spend three for five for my secondary. Okay. Five for pile of skulls, and then for blood for the blood gods. Uh, I I maxed it this turn. Yeah, I don't, already four. Right? Because yeah. like, can turn... you score four a turn, or how much can you score? Uh, I can Six score three? four, but this was turn three, right? Yeah. So, on your turn, four died. True. So. Oh, wait. it should be th it actually. I have it. I have two, three, four right now. Two, three, four. That's yeah. what it should be. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okie doke. Uh, Alrighty, start, start of four. I'll get four. It's like to one CP. Two. We have scored absolutely nothing for primaries this game. Secondary is scoring some pretty bad too, to be real with you. You've got more than me at least, but yeah, it's been rough. How okay. many bikes died over there, by the way? Uh, two. On that turn. Two? Yeah. Was it a four man or a three man? Was it four? Oh, I guess it was three. I think I'm still good though. I don't think I can make you run. No. You're five? No, you can't run. I give minuses. Uh, they don't usually do anything. We're going into Rendex, and um, we'll do Stance 1. So auto wounds a 6 against vehicles and monsters. Um, cool. I don't think you can fall back in charge, can you? I don't think so. But you do fight before me, so... We're gonna scoot this way. I'm gonna gain a CP, which I'm gonna spend to um, to be able to do an action and shoot. That's worth it. Cause I control that point, but you control this one. Yeah, I'll be able to get one at least. So sure. In this primary scoring game, it's kind of important. Okay, perfect. Um, alrighty, so he's gonna shoot his arachnus cannons here. Okay. Both hit. Um, strength seven, so one wound. EP4 on those guys. Uh, save. Saves it. Don't have any other shooting. Charges, I'm already in combat. Um, it's the end of my charge phase. Do you have any like, to intervene or anything? I can't. Uh, no, I think it's oh. GCP for them. Oh. Cool. So then we go into the fight first, which will be me. So, um, you do have enough to interrupt. Do you have a 1 CP interrupt or no? 
No, so I'm basically in the charge bracket. So we'll start off. I'll just get a five versus bus. So I'll do this one. Hopefully, you can kill. Do the Misericordia just for laughs. Hits. Oh, doesn't miss. All right. Guess I'll have to stab you with my lance. <laughs> All hit. All wound. He's dead. Yeah. Finally. But it does bait that point in blood. Nope. And then those guys are going to go over here, and we're just going to swivel back around this way. Um, has he taken any wounds yet, Demon Prince? Nope. Okay, six is the hit, auto wound. Um, ones are no good. And then restraint seven, right? You want me on, uh, I'm minus one wounds, you want me on threes. Wait, you didn't charge, so didn't fours. Charge fours. Yep. So three at him. Three. Uh, he takes all of them. Six, six damage. damage, he's down to two. Mize and Cordy's. They hit. Oh, the six actually auto wounded, so we'll just say the other one didn't wound. So that'll be one wound. Okay. Uh, he's six. Okay. Um, your swing backs from your monster guy over there. He gets seven attacks, he was not charged. Uh, those explode. Nice. So we're looking at five. Yes. Three damage. My bike is wounded. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and that will be the end of my turn there. Um, let's be at four. So at the beginning of year four, um, you'll control one, two, and three. So, more, I believe, you finally get. I do finally get more, because I control, I don't control that one. You don't? I only have two. Oh, no, you only got the two guys on there. Oh, oh. so you only have two. Okay. Do I go up to two CP, though? It's true. Um, here you go. And I go to one. Thank you, sir. And you will score uh, two for your banners. Yep. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Very bloody game. It almost rolled into his wounds. <laughs> oh man. Still a very large amount of eight bounds to deal with. Okay. Um. Charge phase? Yeah. For those eight pound, they're in. Angron into those spikes. He rolls a three, a year rolls a four, so he gets a five. Makes it. Okay. Uh, that'll be all my charges. Um, they will do... Uh, I guess they could have at that point. Um, they would have done the action. You get a point? Yeah, you're good. I, get, I would get two points because they could have moved on to the... True. Um, okay. And then for fights, I'll do the, this one first. I'll spend two CP for Red Butchers. Okay. That's a uh, three men, right? Uh, yep. So I don't think they're exalted. I'll need chain fist. Uh, the big guy gets the double axes. Okay. There's normal, so they eight on threes. But exploding sixes, so I get three back. Threes. Wow. Nine. Uh, it's two damage piece, two damage piece. Yep. Yeah, we did. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, uh, bait and blood, two, and then you get to fight here. You. Um, all right, let's do the, their attacks into the Demon Prince. So, minus one to hit, you said? Uh, minus one to wound. Oh, okay. So they hit. 
no auto wounds, sadly, and leading you on fours. But we do pretty good there. So six. He dies. Got him. Bathed in blood. And then. I'm up to six blood points. I don't think I can get away from you, no. sadly. Uh, yeah. We'll do anger on. And he will do his. His. I feel like I should sweep here. Hmm. No, I will. I will strike. Yep. And uh, he gave reroll all to himself this turn. Yep. But he can't reroll on me. Oh yeah. Uh. Emissaries. Still. I believe it's our just our base one that's always active, right? No. Emissaries. It's you get to ignore the. Oh, which is the one that's no rerolls? You get to ignore penalties actually. So you would have wounded me on threes, but you still killed him. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't matter. I uh, get one explode. Eight. Eight. Okay. I think they've been done. Yeah, it's, it's four damage a piece, right? Yeah, so yeah. they just go. Okay, perfect. Goes towards that one little guy in the back. Um, get two for bathing blood, uh, the blood. The first one. I get two. Okay. And then I'll spend three for five more. Okay. That's it. Nice. All right. We got my turn. No secondary, sadly. Um, don't think. Yeah, I don't. The I don't think I have gotten stand vigil one time. I, I definitely really no. been keeping track, but I think you've out one to me one time, like every time. Um, so I'll be up to two. It's really bad if you go second. Huh? It's uh, that secondary is really good if you go second. It's really bad if you go first. Yeah. It's like a 50-50 almost. Let's do. Since I've scored as much as I can, I'm gonna let you hang on to that real fast. Like I'm flying into here. Um, I'm going to shoot my big profile into those two. Through the window. Oh wait, no, that's window was filming. Ah, I gotta do that. Okay, let me see. Uh, <laughs> one. So, how can I get some kills? I guess the building was like this too, wasn't it? We're just gonna accept the fate. Fuck yeah, why not? Um, and we're gonna shoot these guys. Okay. So two shots, hitting on twos. Wounded on uh, threes. I'll spend mine on my CP. So two wounds. AP uh, lock. I'll take both. Three damage? Three damage Kill two. Praying for that no prisoners. It's a lot nice for me. <laughs> yeah, it will. I've killed a lot. But all right. Uh, no charges. So that's the end of my turn there. OK. Um, all I'm going to do on my turn is raise banner there um, and do the action back here. I don't think I have to kill you to get more points. No. Um, cause you're not on a point, so I can't get bathed the blood. Um, and then I'll spend three to get five more. So max that three and then, uh, And then I would have gotten two more for banners at the end cause I, I raised a banner. Three more. Oh yeah. Three more. Yeah. And then, um, I think you would have maxed your blood for the blood gods too. Just right. Nice. So for no prisoners, what do I get? Uh, Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, minus. You get eleven points. Eleven points. Because there's still there's still two squad there's still six eight five left on the field, and that's eighteen wins. Nice. All right. Awesome. Alrighty. Good game. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was cool playing the world leaders. Um, those eight bound are really, really strong. They're rough. They're rough, especially when I trade a hundred twenty point unit for like almost an entire unit of bikes. Um, yeah, that happens. I probably should have played even a little more KG, but uh, it's just hard to tell. It's interesting. I think um, 
yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm excited for the tournament next weekend. See how I that am goes. too. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty rough no matter what. I think for for Stodes into this matchup just because the trade's so rough. But um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. do another stream when I have all 15 of my Venatar built, and we'll try that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be fun. We'll do because then I can actually use my tangle foots and stuff. A lot of your uh, bikes can't use many stratagems. That is the only downside to running so many bikes. Mm -hmm. So 44 on the loss for me, not awful. And then 30, 33. Secondaries for Corwin. And then 8 plus 12, 20. Plus 11, 31. So 74 on the win for Corwin. Alrighty. Right on. Hey, good game. Good game, sir. Thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, next time hopefully we'll be painted up. I, we are streaming on Tuesday. Me and Nick, I don't know what Army's bringing probably an Ari. I'll be playing with guard. So that'll be interesting to watch too. Sorry to jump around army so much, but we're just we're having, we're we're having fun. Figuring out. Fun. It's the beginning of a season. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna play Casodes or Guard. So we'll see. I'm definitely taking Casodes to tournament though. So that'll be fun on that front. Right on. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Have a good um, rest of your day.